Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make these stackable square knot bracelets. You will need wax cotton cord, I found this multicolored cord at Michael's, scissors, a ruler, tape, and some clear nail polish. First, measure one 66 inch piece and one 18 inch piece of cord. Then fold the longer piece in half and tape it down. Tape the shorter piece on top. Then go down about 4 inches and place another piece of tape. This entire bracelet is made up of square knots, which can be kind of tricky until you get the hang of them. I'm going to explain them here, but if you're still confused after this explanation, I've already created an entire video devoted solely to teaching you how to make the square knot, so I'm going to link that here. Cross the right strand over the middle and under the left. Then take the left strand and cross it under the middle and bring it up through the triangle. Then tighten to finish the knot. And now you'll switch to the left strand. Bring it over the middle and under the right. Take the right strand, bring it under the middle and through the triangle. And tighten to finish. When you finish, cut off the right and left strands, and then seal your knots with some clear polish. I always seal my knots for added security. Even out the tails with a pair of scissors. Now we're going to make the adjustable closure. First overlap the tails and secure them with two pieces of tape. Then take about 12 inches worth of cord and slip it underneath the tails. I'm using a different color here just for fun. Now you're going to treat the two tails as your middle strand and simply make square knots all over again. I like to make about three square knots for my closures. The last step is to add knots to each of the tails so the adjustable closure doesn't slip off. I went out of the frame when trying to film that, but you can see the knots in this picture. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have a request, leave it in a comment below. And if you want to see more simple DIYs, don't forget to subscribe.